I would definitely have to say that one of the big things that I'm really looking forward to seeing in Star Wars Episode 9 by JJ is exactly how he will treat the character of Kylo Ren and exactly where the character will end up going by the very end of this movie, in the sequel trilogy and in the Skywalker saga. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing I will say about Kylo Ren is that they are going to make him a more evil character in this movie. And when we look at the character of Kylo in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, we can see that this character is very conflicted, something that will actually be a component that will be lost in Episode 9, where Kylo is fully embraced with the dark side of the Force, at least for a majority of the film. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concepts art and storyboard descriptions etc one of which has all to do with kylo ren's new appearance now specifically all right what's really intriguing is that it's described that one of the outfits for kylo ren portrayed by adam driver involved the outfit having armor over the shoulder blades and upper chest area as a callback to darth vader it's also described that for one of the scenes adam had to wear a broken helmet the one that is reforged eventually gets damaged in battle against ray where it's described that it was actually similar to what happened to Phasma's helmet revealed one of her eyes in The Last Jedi, eventually ripping the top half off before it's destroyed again by Kylo. It's also said Kylo sports a silver-like cape with his black outfit. This could be used as a piece of symbolism that at some point Kylo is in the gray area of good and evil. It's also said that he has a belt like Vader's with LEDs that light up both red and yellow. Additionally, his hilt has some minor changes to its design. On the exterior, like the paint being being darker with hidden wires and the hilt. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now, first things first, the thing that I really am very interested in is, of course, Kylo Ren's new helmet. Now, we do know that he puts it back together as if it was a broken eggshell and glues it all back together again. So that's all being done by this red crystalline adhesive. I'm sure that you guys saw the leaked photograph about a week or so ago where we actually got to see the first look of Kylo Ren's new helmet in this movie. It's the same helmet, mind you, but it does have a design difference. You, you do get to see these like red cracks in it. And they're using that as a way to basically give us a piece of symbolism that basically, you know, Kylo Ren is now fully embraced with the dark side. And they wanted to aim for that style because they wanted to make it like there were actual veins running down Kylo Ren's helmet. You know, basically giving us the idea that he is actually full, fully embraced within the dark side and full of anger. Now, the next thing that I do want to go over, though, is how eventually in the film, his helmet is going to get damaged in battle against Rey. Now, we actually heard about this, I don't know if you guys remember, about a month or so ago, one of the ending scenes during the lightsaber duel, I don't know if you guys know this, but during the duel between both Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver as Kylo and Rey, Adam is actually sporting the helmet, something that we have never seen in the sequel trilogy that is really going to be something else. And I can only imagine it right now where Kylo is wearing his helmet with the actual red cracks in it going up against Rey. It's going to seem quite, you know interesting to actually see that on the big screen because we've never seen Kylo fight Rey with the helmet on. So eventually that helmet gets a little damaged where it reveals one of his eyes and he eventually rips the top half off. You guys may remember this and he smashes it into the ground. So that's when he actually has, you know, basically more uh, visible areas on the helmet once he rips it off and is better off fighting that way. So that's the thing here. We do know that there are some changes for the character of Kylo Ren, especially with the armor. You know, his upper chest area and the shoulders as a callback to that of Darth Vader's suit. If you examine Darth Vader's suit, same exact thing. He's got the armored shoulder blades as well as the upper chest. You guys may recall that in The Empire Strikes Back, Luke Skywalker takes a, you know, takes a strike at Darth Vader on the shoulder and it did nothing. It basically just created a spark. So that's exactly what Kylo is going to have at some point in time in this movie, I would have to say most likely in the second act of the film, which is where one of the major land battles are going to take place on the desert world and, of course, the jungle world as well. Now, additionally, all right, this is where things begin to get a little bit more interesting is that he has a belt that has green and red LEDs as well as yellow. And I'm trying to really kind of think as to why 
he would have a belt that has LEDs this time. Is it for communication purposes between himself and the Knights of Ren? It could be for tracking as well. We do know that's exactly how General Hux found Kylo Ren on Starkiller Base, is that his belt had a tracker in it. In case you guys didn't know that, that's how he was saved off of Starkiller. So, the next thing that I want to go over is the actual hilt design. Uh, so far, there's no major changes to his hilt other than the paint being darker and the wires being hidden in this movie. Now, there's a lot of hints and indicators that we've gone over before in the past that Kylo is actually using a new kyber crystal because of the saber blade being stable at some point in time in this movie, where Rey's is actually going to be unstable, apparently. That's actually quite the interesting reverse now, where you have Kylo is a stable lightsaber and Rey has an unstable one you know you it's basically like you know turning the tables here for both characters Kylo Ren and Rey and I really do like that anyways guys drop a comment below let me know what you think about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time